Today, we're making savory waffles. That's right, waffles. Hey, Trout School, welcome back. If you haven't seen us in a while, we are cooking our way through keto made easy. So today, we're gonna be cooking some savory zucchini cheese waffles. That's right, waffles. So if everything turns out right, this is what it should look like. To make these waffles, you're gonna need all these ingredients. So for this recipe, we won't need the stove, the oven, but we're gonna be using this awesome waffle iron. So the next step, you wanna grab your zucchini, take it to the sink, rinse it off, chop off the ends. You wanna grab a colander and a cheese grater. Then you wanna start grating the zucchini with the cheese grater. Is it hard to grate zucchini? No, it's actually pretty easy, but you have to be careful because um, you will cut your finger up if you get too close to the blades. I would have never, ever thought to put zucchini in a waffle. But that's keto life. I know when we went to Syracuse, we went to a waffle place and you had one of their savory waffles. They're actually really good, but that was when we were eating bread. Yeah, that was actually a real waffle. This place was pretty cool. They themed their waffles. And so I had the Thanksgiving dinner waffle. What was that place called? I can't remember the name of it. Um, I have no clue. Oh my gosh, what was it? Oh, Funkin' Waffles. That's it. Yes. <laughs> It's really cool. It's like a music venue and a waffle place. It was really awesome. But um, I wonder if they have a keto option now. I bet you they do. I don't know. Now I need to uh, press out all the excess water out of the zucchini. That's why we're using a colander. <sighs> so you have to get all the water out? Yeah, most of it out. You don't want it watery. Now is this difficult? Um, I don't know what it is because I've never done this before. <laughs> is it, do you feel like you're doing it right? <laughs> I think I'm doing fine. I just feel like there's a lot of moisture in it. <sighs> did it say how long it would take or it, like how much water you're supposed to get out of it? It did not specify any of that. It just said get the water out. I mean, is this a common technique that chefs use that we just don't know because we're noobs or? <laughs> Tell me if I'm doing something wrong. If we should know how to do this, because I'm not sold that we're doing this right. Yeah. I mean, that's a decent amount of water. That's a lot, but I'm gonna do a few more seconds here. Most of the water strained out of the zucchini. We're gonna add that to a bowl, add the two eggs and the cheese, and mix it up with a fork. I guess let's hope we got enough water out of this. I hope so. Here goes our cheese. Cheesy, cheesy. One egg. Another egg. All right. Two eggs. And then you're just mixing that with a fork? Now, how did you know how much zucchini to add? Is it just said two large zucchinis. That's all it was. The no, rest. but I mean, you didn't put the whole bit in the bowl. Because I had three small zucchinis, and so I kind of assumed what I thought was enough for three, two large zucchinis. So if it messes up, we know it's because you didn't do the proper zucchini ratio. I'm not gonna mess this up. Now we're gonna add the garlic. Salt, peppers, and coconut flour. And we're gonna blend this in with the fork. This is our completed waffle batter. So we're gonna check the waffle iron now. What are we checking it for? Make sure it's hot. It's hot, got a green light. We're gonna add some um, spray. And I got some of this cool coconut oil spray. All right, nice. Right. Oh, it smells delish. <laughs> I love that coconut smell. And now that the batter's done, we're gonna grab a one third cup scoop, scoop some up, put it in the middle of the waffle maker, close it up, and we're making waffles. Keto waffles, here we go. Ooh. Oh, put it down, all right, here we go. We're gonna let this cook for four to four and a half minutes till golden brown all the way through. Once it's done, we're gonna use a fork, lift it up and throw it on the plate. Cross your fingers. It's sizzling. I can hear it cooking and I can smell it a little bit burnty. I'm hoping that's just the smell of... That's 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 what you smell from savory waffles. <laughs> oh, it's that savory burnt waffle oh, smell. Yes. Got it. Yes. Yes. Crispy Supposed waffles. To do that. Yes. All right. I mean, you can hear it sizzling if I'm quiet. ASMR. While we're waiting, I feel like maybe we could chat with the audience a little bit. Okay. 
Well, I tell you what, guys, if you like what you see here, why don't you hit that subscribe button? If you have any comments for us, if you like something, don't like something, see a technique I'm doing wrong, you want to school me on something, leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on, okay? I'm waiting for this green light to come on, but it's not coming on. <laughs> we start a fire. I don't We're know. Like, but the light wasn't on. I'm going to flip. I feel like, no, not yet. Oh. When, I'm gonna when wait a know, second. Do you just feel it? Do you just feel it in your bones when you flip? I, I, Why do you have to flip it? I'm confused. Because that's what you do with waffle makers. You flip them. It flip you. It flip you for real. Flip it. How do you, I don't even know how to work this thing. Flipped. You did it. I did it. But there's still a lot of smoke happening. I think that's moisture. <laughs> it's steaming it? It's steaming it. So obviously we didn't get enough water out, possibly. Um, uh, I think you might be right, because I, I feel like if it was real smoke, the smoke alarm would have gone off by now. Yes, I don't know. We'll find out shortly, I what guess. What color do you think it's going to be? Green, It's going to be baby poop. It's going to be brown <laughs> and green, like baby poop. <laughs> Yum! Keto life, what up? All right, are we opening it up We're now? We're opening it up, ready? Yeah. Ooh! Is it working? It looks like it. Whoa, okay. Look at that. All right, that doesn't look too bad. Not at all. Maybe you should go for another second or two. Ooh, that looks good. Let me get a plate. Is this a professional technique you're using right this here? This is what the book says. Use a fork and, ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. Do we, can we lock this? You want me to hold it? I'll try to hold it and the camera. And pull the sucker mm -hmm. out. Real life, guys. Oh. Flip it. So there you go. Um, so they also say for condiments, let's use some sour cream, chives, and actually more cheddar cheese on top if you would like. So. So what do we want to do? Do we want to make a couple more, or do we want to just go and taste it right now? Um, I have enough batter. Let's make a couple more. Okay, we'll make a couple more, and then we'll try it. Yep. All right, sounds good. So how long did it take to mix up all this? Do you think? Um, about it took about 15 minutes. To mix it all and then like another five, let's say just for it to cook. Yeah, that's it. So it's like a 20 minute. 20, deal. yeah, the book says uh, I think 28 minutes total, but uh, it took us about 20 well, minutes. Well, that was only to make one, so it probably would take longer because you gotta think it's five minutes per waffle. Yes, yeah, five. To turn out. Yes, unless we made one super waffle. Like a really big one? Yeah. Let's try to make one more this size. Okay. And then whatever we have left over, just make one of that. Okay. Is that cool with you? That works for me. It's probably the size for the carb serving. count. Yeah, yeah, the serving the size. Serving size. So we'll do that legit. And so while the second waffle's cooking, let's do a shout out to Keto Steve. Thanks for the comment. Everyone, check out his YouTube. He's pretty funny. Yeah, Keto Steve, thanks for the comment. And we are really enjoying some of your videos. We check them out. Pretty funny stuff and some good information as well. So thanks for watching, dude. This is the water or liquid that's draining out of the waffle iron. So it's definitely steam that's coming out, not smoke. Look at all the water coming out. It's pretty crazy. So. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, that one looks good. Mm, hopefully this works out right. You look like an evil villain behind all this smoke right there. Or like a crazy magician. Really? Yeah. Ooh, yes. Look at that bad boy. Three savory zucchini waffles. I'm ready to eat. I'm starving. I haven't had dinner yet, so okay. ready to do this. Here is the picture. Okay. There's what I made. Yes. Think it looks close? I mean, I would say it looks pretty close. So do I. So we have here two servings. There is uh, 14 grams of net carbs per serving. So the texture, it's uh, a different texture. Uh, reminds me of broccoli. I don't know why. That honestly is really good. People aren't gonna believe us because we say everything is good. But it's good. It, is it, it really tastes good? like it tastes like a um, like a vegetable waffle. Like I like it. I think it's delicious. It's light. Um, it's got good texture. Does it have a waffle texture to it? A little bit. The crust, just okay. the outside crust. It tastes like uh, almost like an eight quiche kind of in the middle. Okay. Is it spicy at all? Um, a little bit. I mean, a tad spicy. You could taste a little bit of the. Um, the uh, peppers. Get over here and try some. I know people will probably say that I say everything tastes great, but it tastes good. I really, I really think it tastes good. All right, let me see. Mmm, it is good. 
It's good. It's not my favorite recipe that we've made so far, but it's good. It does have a quiche tone to it. It reminds yeah. me of quiche a little bit. And for me, somebody who doesn't like spice, it does have a little bit of a spice kick to it. Yeah, just a little one. But I'm a baby when it comes to spice, so. Good texture. It has more of a quiche texture to it though, over like a true waffle yeah. texture. That's what I that's what I think. I think least. the crust to me has a, a almost like a rubbery, almost like a a uh, like a waffle a feeling to it. Yeah, I could see that. But the inside definitely like a quiche. No, it has. I would say this is closer to a quiche than a waffle. Okay. Personally. Touche. <laughs> you could eat this without the extra toppings on it, but I'm with handsome. I like sour cream and cheese, so I want to try it with the toppings on it. So let's get some of that. Let's do that. Here is what it looks like with the toppings on it. I added a little bit of cheese, a little bit of sour cream, and some chives, and handsome added a lot of all of that. So because I'm practical. Excuse me, Guinness. Guinness says I want to try this. This smells delicious. Hello, sir. Not tonight, though. All right, so let's go ahead and try this with the toppings on it. Ooh, so good. I like it. All right, this is with all the toppings on it. Let's see what we think. Good. Mm hmm Yeah, so I can eat this for breakfast. It's good. I could see it as more of a breakfast, yeah. I could prep these up. For brunch. This is a good brunch dish. This is a good keto brunch dish. There we go. There we go. So I'll say that this is good. But it is, out of all the recipes that we've made so far, my least favorite. Your least? Mm-hmm. It's um, not bad. Doesn't mean it's bad. It's good. I would eat it. But out of all the ones that we've made so far, this is probably my least, like, wowed by. Yeah. I'm with you. Not good, not bad. Just, eh. Guinness, however, is really into it. I don't know if you guys can see, but he's desperately trying to steal it. But he's not going to get that. He's not. He's not on the keto diet. Well, I think that's about it. Anything else you want to add? Nope. I think we're good. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe and join us next week when we make another recipe from Keto Made Easy. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. See ya.